Welcome to the assembly of God's living flames. Please keep, keep the music. Thank you. You are a partaker, you are a partaker of God's divine nature. God shares his nature with you. This has been a transforming point, a, turn, a turning point for me this whole week. So I want you to say to yourself before I continue, I am a living flame. I am a living flame. Say it like you understand it. Say it like you mean it. Even if you don't understand it, say it because as you say it, the word is taking flesh in you. I am a living flame. I am a living branch of the consuming fire. God shares his nature with me. Say, I am a living branch of the consuming fire. God shares his nature with me. One of the things revealed about God is that he's a consuming fire. And we know in Christ Jesus that we are partakers of the divine nature. So if God shares his nature with us, today is going to be like Matt. So maybe I should prepare you. Because there's been a lot of discussion in my spirit this whole week. And I came off a different person. I've literally applied what I'm going to be sharing today. Said, if God shares his nature with us, we'll go to the scripture. I want to give you a background. And the Bible says he's a consuming fire. And we are partakers of the divine nature. It therefore means that, you know, he says in John 15, I am the vine, you are the branches. It therefore means that we are living branches of the consuming fire. I'll take that again because you need to get it before I move on. The Bible says that we are partakers of God's divine nature. And in John 15, 5, it says, I am the vine. You are the branches. The vine was just one imagery. As we will see in Hebrews 12, 29, it says, For our God is a consuming fire. Now, it therefore means that if God shares his nature with you, it means if he is a consuming fire and we are branches of him, what are you? You are a consuming fire. You did not hear that. You are the living branch of the consuming fire. When this broke out, I literally was like, who has preached on that before? Because it sounds like, oh, God is a consuming fire. But in prayer, I said, you are a consuming fire. Let's go to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. Let's read it together. Please, let's take it again. For our God is a consuming fire. And we'll read 2 Peter 1 and 4. I want you to read it together. Let's go again. For our God is a consuming fire. And because of his glory and excellence, he has given us and precious promises. These are the promises that enable you to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. So I go back to what I was trying to lay as a foundation. I said it's going to be like if one plus one equals two, then two minus one will be one. If God says, if the Bible says, for God is a consuming fire, and we are made to understand that we are partakers of his divine nature. And in John 15 verse 5, he says, I am the vine, you are the branches. The vine there was just an imagery because he needed to talk about fruitfulness. So it means you can remove it and put, I am the consuming fire. You are my branches. If you are the branch of the consuming fire, if you are the branch of a mango tree, what are you? If you are the branch of a consuming fire, what are you? Are you getting this? You are a living, breathing, mobile, consuming fire. You are left here on earth to do exactly what your God does. You and I are meant to consume things. You and I are meant to burn up things. We are meant to touch kingdoms, to uproot, to plant, to tear down. We are meant to destroy, to demolish ancient strongholds, demonic strongholds. It's not going to happen until you come to that understanding that 
God is a consuming fire, yes, but I'm his descendant, I'm his up, offspring. I, Ian Patrick Grace Henry, I am a consuming fire, I'm a living flame. When you do anyhow, you will see anyhow. It's not meant to motivate you. Because sometimes the devil comes and quenches us. As, as I was praying yesterday, a, an imagery came up. I tried to, to write what I saw. Imagine a tree all the way up from the ground up. The, the roots, the branches is made of fire. And imagine the branch. The branch, just imagine one of the branches out there. That is you. The tree is God. You are the branch. So long as you remain in fellowship with the consuming fire, you cannot quench. That is why you and I cannot frolic with sin. Because what sin does is it quenches us and makes us receptacles, reservoirs of the things we were supposed to burn up. You are not getting it. When you get it, you will stand up and start burning up cancer, burning up arthritis, burning up things in your neighborhood and telling them, I'm a consuming fire. I cannot quench. The one that powers me burns eternally. Every time I finish like this, the devil comes for me and tries to make you quench. And this week when he, tell, he told me, you are a consuming fire. And he came back again. I said, ha ha, I'm a consuming fire. I'm a consuming fire and because I'm a consuming fire I cannot wake up anymore in my life and say I cannot pray because I can pray I am a consuming fire I'm a living flame I'm a living branch of the consuming fire God lives in you you are configured in fire you're not configured in sand you're not con configured in mud you're not configured in wood you are configured in fire and there are things you are carrying that you should not carry because what is not compatible with fire is not supposed to be in you but you know why we become receptacles reservoirs of those things sin sin quenches us you cannot frolic with sin you cannot play with it it is not your realm you are a living branch of the consuming fire before I even give us what to affirm in the word, I want us to begin to use our understanding to burn down kingdoms, to burn down ancient strongholds. Imagine yourself in your house and begin to exert the authority of the consuming fire. What God told me will do today is that he will put crowns of fire on the heads of everyone. He will put crowns of fire. And as I was coming to church, I asked him, what does that mean? He said, I'm bringing them into the dominion of fire rulership of fire the government of fire where you and i will no longer rule by negotiation but we rule because we do what fire does if you are compatible with us you stand if you are not compatible with us we burn you up we are living branches of the consuming fire and if we are living branches of the consuming fire it is safe to say that because we share his divine nature we are configured in fire we are we are a consuming fire are there things that are looking like that that they are not in their places it is looking that way because we have forgotten our configuration look around our neighborhoods marriages looking like divorce is a perfect end it's because the church has forgotten that it's a living flame we are a mobile living walking talking flame we are supposed to do what fire does we're supposed to replicate the results of our father here on earth in our spheres you are left here to do the bidding of god you are a living branch of the consuming fire if anything leaves your mind today I want you to keep the imagery of a tree on fire and the branch the branches of that tree that is you that is I that is you that is you we are different branches of that fire what I saw was a tree branching out so God branches out to different spheres through you and he expects you father had said we are his offices on earth to do in that field in that family in that home what the consuming fire comes to do you know we say god is a consuming fire but when you're on his side he, he it 
is for you, the fire becomes protection. When you are on the other side, you see another dimension. So I want us to begin to speak. I am a consuming fire. I am configured in the consuming fire. My DNA is in the consuming fire. Anything living within me that is not compatible with fire gets burnt up right now. I don't expect you to walk away with the sicknesses you came. I don't expect you to walk away with the diseases you came. I don't expect you to still walk away and live under the government of weakness. Because crowns of fire are coming on your head. Crowns of fire. God is bringing you, bringing you the mantle of fire. He's bringing you the crown of fire. He's bringing you the authority. He's bringing you into the government of fire. I want you to say this with me. I am a living flame of the consuming fire. Say it like you understand it. I am a living flame of the consuming fire. As you say it, the words are being begotten in you. Darkness cannot find expression in my territory. Affliction cannot survive in and around me. Sicknesses cannot attach themselves to my body. I take responsibility for banishing evil off from my spheres. I am a living branch of the consuming fire. I am a partaker of the divine nature. As God is, so am I in this world. I am not a helpless bystander in the affairs of life. I decide what happens in my sphere and life. I am a living flame. I am a mighty warrior. I am a sharer of the divine nature. I am faithful under pressure. I shall not quench on the day of adversity. I win life's battles in the field of prayer. I am configured in the consuming fire. Nobody steals from me. I walk daily in my authority and dominion. My destiny cannot be compromised. I am God's system of protection to those in my sphere. I live like Jesus in this world. I am a living branch of the consuming fire. God shares his nature with me. I cannot be captured. I cannot be enslaved. I cannot be sick. As Christ is, so am I in this world. So begin to decree what cannot happen in your sphere because you are a living branch of the consuming fire. When you come into this understanding, you will understand intercession. You will understand a different level of intercession. Don't worry if you, if you feel you cannot consume headache. Just keep staying in fellowship with the consuming fire. And before you know it, you will not only consume your headache, you will consume cancer out of people. You are consuming fire and it is in constant intercession that we set the things that needs to be burned up a place it is in prayers that we move mountains and we move obstacles it is in intercession that we reduce waste and take away the things that waste and ruin cities we are living flames when you speak you are sending fire on an assignment we are not here to strike a match we burn by getting on our knees before God. So open your mouth because as you speak, you are burning. As you speak, you are burning. As you speak, you are burning. You are a partaker of the divine nature. This reality, when it comes to you face to face, you will rise in responsibility and take over your family. When you understand you are a living flame, you will rise in responsibility and take over your territories. So take over your schools. Take over your neighborhoods. Take over institutions. Take over the churches. Begin to burn in speaking. Burn in speaking. As you speak, you are burning. 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 Ah, let Kaya both do brother. Let Kabo go to brother. Leave both to brother. One cult is out of your.